four days, and look, I find this on top of my soil. It's beautiful. Most folks will have something covering it up, and then when they move it, they'll see it under there. But I can just leave my soil like this, and you'll see it web up. I got them little bugs in there that's eating up everything, jumping around, breaking down everything. And this right here is the blue Skittles. No food at all, ladies and gentlemen. No food at all. Just looking delicious and beautiful. Blue Skittles. I'm just showing you my soil. Look at that. Zoom in on that. Look at that. Look at that webbing. No food at all. And the plant love it. She loves it. She loves it. Yep. Just showing you that. That's all. Look at that. Blue Skittles. Delicious. Just showing you that on top of the soil. You know? That's nice. Looking good. Nice. Organic growing. No food. But, um, like I said... <clears throat> I be giving them a little food. Not now, no time soon, but eventually I will. You know? But I just want to let you know, look at my soil. Healthy, nice soil. Dirt is dead, soil is alive. Remember that. And I'm um, clearly, you know, shit, it's alive. Look at that. I find roly polies in my soil. I find these little things that be jumping around. I forgot the name of them, breaking down things and, and all that shit. I looked it up, they said it's good for your soil, so. Yeah. I wish I could show you it. If I pour some water, hold on. If I pour water, there they go. You see them? See these little things? Them little things are beneficial for your soil. They hop, they jump. They don't bite you. They don't crawl up my plants at all. And I have thousands of them in the soil. Thousands of them in every hole in my pots. Thousands of them. If I pour water, you're just going to see them. Just thousands, millions of them. They don't go up the plant. They don't affect my plants. They don't mess with nothing. I looked them up on YouTube, and they said that they're beneficial for your soil. They help break down everything, and they do. And clearly because this carpet is on this floor, they all up under this floor. And they don't crawl up my plants. Anything fall on the floor dead, they eat it. They love being up under this plant, these pots, moisture, and being in my soil. And I'm serious. You can buy these online. I actually looked it up. You can buy these. Colonies. You can actually buy these online, and they sell them. And you know what they like to eat? Rice. And when you buy them, they come in charcoal. And you give them rice and water. That's it. These things, they jump. They bounce, bounce, bounce. But I'm telling you, they good. They real good. Now, I always want to make a video on these little buggers. Show sure did. So now you see. That's what be in my soil. Those roly polies. And then these, they bounce. Boop, boop, boop. Just look it up. What are these little things in your soil that bounce? And they gonna tell you how beneficial they are for your soil. How they break food down for the plants. How they break down certain bacteria, certain molds. And they wonderful dude when I first seen them when I first started growing I thought they was bad I thought I had a problem when I looked them up we a one we we go together so and for some reason the neem and all that doesn't kill them either and if it does kill them they multiply so fast I'm telling you they all in the soil if I pour water in there you're just gonna start seeing them come to the sides I'm serious but um, it's time for me to water the plants and I water the plants with the water hose straight from the faucet no pH balance, none of that. Just straight from the faucet if y'all want to know. So for those that are budget balling and ain't got it like that. Now, water is different based on location. When I was in um, up there towards Six Flags and things like that, the plants was, I feel like the, the water did, was lacking something. So the plants was yellowing on me or something like that. Or the plants was, you, the water just different in different locations. But for some reason out here in LA, the water pH is perfect. And that's not for everywhere. It's like some people got wells in their backyard, you know, holes in the ground with water, and that shit is perfect. Or some people, water may be too alkaline or too acidic, depending on how where you're located. But over here in L.A., we good, okay?
okay? That's all I want to know. I just want to rest those out there. Be like, no, there ain't everybody. Well, I know that. So, I'm just leaving you with that one. And um, it's time for me to water these plants. <sighs> yeah, I'm watering these plants. That's it. That's all. Watering them. Next year, it's going to be beautiful. Next year, listen, I'm grateful that the plants turned out like this. Because God gave me a window into how next year going to look. You feel me? And... I'm prepared now for next year. I know now not to put these plants in the ground. And I'm going to start from seed. I'm not fucking with clones. I'm not saying clones ain't good. But I love seeds. I can throw my seeds. I can plant my seeds three months ahead of before groceries will start. Three months. And they'll be in pots. And they will not flower. They're just going to grow. Show they sex by the time growing season come around. Then what I may do is keep them in that pot for another month. And a half. I'm going to keep them in them pots for another month and a half. Then I'm going to take them out them pots once they, you know, because I know what they are. After, you know. And once they show their sex, like I said, I'm going to still keep them in the pot for a month and a half. Then I'm going to take them out and put them in the ground. That way they can be this big. Remember these right here was the late shores? Remember? These are Ken's Ninja. Late shores. Look how big it is. See? It stopped here. So by the time she's done flowering, she should be like that height. By the time this is done flowering, this is going to be touching the ceiling. That's going to be touching the ceiling within two days. That's going to be touching the ceiling within two days. These would have been touching the ceiling already if I didn't put a trellis net on top and on the side. And then I put a trellis net there and I bent them. But look how they curve back up. Same thing with the backs. I bent them. But look how they curve back up. They still only got a foot left from the ceiling. So what I do know is that these plants will outgrow the greenhouse. And that's a problem. All right? So now, you know, I'm grateful. So I know what to be prepared for next year. Not to put them in so early. And, uh, you know, I thought I was behind, but I learned the lesson. My greenhouse taught me something at the end of the day, you know? Taught me something. You put us in the ground early, we're going to grow big on you, even if you don't give us food or not. That's just the way it is. Because we good genetics, and you got good soil back here. It's as simple as that. And you're a decent grower. Got to give it to you. You know? Got to give it to you. So I'm just saying, that's what you can do on the budget. You know? You ain't got money for food. As long as you can get you some nice soil... It's not all hard and clayed out. You feel me? And, um, yeah, I come every three days in water. And then, look, you see mushrooms? Don't worry about that. You can just break those mushrooms. Choo -choo, like that. And put that, amend that back in the soil. And your soil is going to love it. It's just mushrooms from just having a little more, too much water. That's all. A little too much water. Now, like I said, I, I, go, I come every three days because I have kids. I have a family. So they only own for every three days. Sometimes four days. And as you can see, it's hot in L.A. And as you can see, it's been three days already. And do they look like they need to be watered? I haven't watered them. I'm just starting to water my little clones right now, the little ones. As you can see, the soil is dried out on them. They light. Look at that. So as you can see, see? I ain't been here for three days. And no problems. No problems. No problems. You can see they barely starting to bend down there. Barely. 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 See? I like the way that look. I opened all that up. I defoliated. As you can see, I, I, I really like defoliating my plants. I don't like to overdo it, but I really like to defoliate. So, I like to let the light through. Air penetration. You know? A lot of people's plants look bushy-bushy because it's a lot of fun leaves on them. On. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, shit, that's food for the plant at the end of the day. You feel me? Why take it off? If the plant grew it, why take it off? But for me, I like that light penetration. Because most folks say, lay low, take off your larfy buds. But if I let that light penetrate through, man, I can get decent lofty buds, man. And then I can take the lofty buds and press them into oil, man. Or I can take the lofty buds and have a lofty bud jar, man, and smoke it when I have guests over. And don't smoke all my best quality top buds, man. You know what I mean, man? Or if I have a sibling, they get the bottom bud, man. We smoke it together. It's supposed to be the same. And the plant produced it on its own at the end of the day, you feel me? I didn't do nothing to make the plant produce that. I didn't do nothing to make these plants get this big. That's good fucking genetics, a good breeder, and a decent ass fucking grower, and some nice ass fucking soil, and some good ass LA fucking sun at the end of the fucking day. There you go. The fuck? Shit. I can't tell these. Listen. Black G, stop creating fire ass strains. And these bitches won't get this big. LA, stop having fire ass motherfucking sun. Nice sun. Stop having decent ass soil. You feel me? I can't help myself if I got if I'm fucking with niggas that's that's some bomb ass fucking breeders. You feel me? 
if I got good ass fucking breeders, dude, that I'm getting my seeds from, you know, at the end of the day, most people say, oh, any seed can do that. No, any seed will not grow and look like how it, you know, and turn out that way. You know, if you don't, if you don't have a good genetic or a good breeder to start off with, that shit going to be tacky, dude. I'm just letting you know, it's going to be tacky at the end of the fucking day, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just lucky I ran across a bomb-ass, decent-ass fucking breeder at the end of the day. You feel what I mean? That has some fire-ass fucking genetics to fuck with. You know? So, I got to give it to you that one on that one, Black G. You get that respect on that. You get respect on every level when it comes to this cannabis industry shit. Remember, I've been watching y'all niggas, you feel me, before I even start doing this shit. You know? I learned a lot from a lot of y'all. You know what I'm saying? I ain't kissing nobody ass. I'm just saying, nigga, respect is given what respect is due. You feel me? At the end of the day. Fire ass genetics. Everybody came up in here and said, dude, the plants are bigger than it was last year. You damn right. And I ain't even feeding them. That's genetics. That's soil. Because even if the genetics is good, you got boo boo ass soil, it'll stunt the growth of the plant, trust me. And if that soil too compact and it's not airy and all that, it'll stunt the growth of that plant. So, remember, last year we grew in this soil, so it allowed us to know how this, the conditions of this soil. So this time around, we threw them in there and let them go for broke, baby. And they went for broke. And remember, these plants already been in here going on three months, four months. I planted these seeds way ahead of time. And the only thing they was fed was this. Remember, we, when we bought this, it's 10, 5, 14. We ran out of that within two weeks. And I only put scoops in the soil, directly in the soil. None of these plants got it because they came late. And I ran out of that within two, two, th like three weeks, four weeks. Because every time I came, I was giving it to the plants, <laughs> overdoing it. They didn't burn and it was organic, so it took time for it to break down. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is. It is what it is. Would love to grow some more black G strains. I'm looking for some Skittles, man. I'm a flavor type of guy. You understand what I mean? If anybody else out there have any type of strains or genetics that they want me to grow in my greenhouse, or they want to see their strain grow inside my greenhouse, you know what I'm saying? So they can follow it on YouTube or Instagram or whatever the case may be. Or they just want to just, you know what I'm saying? see Lalo grow something, you know what I'm saying, that they happen to create or something like that, hey, hit me up, shoot it my way, leave a comment at the bottom, man, I would love to grow it, you feel me, at the end of the day, if you have an opinion, you feel me, or you have um, a suggestion on how I should do something, please leave it at the bottom, comments, suggestions, all that is due, we're still learning, I'm still learning, I'm constantly learning, I'm not better than nobody, I like everybody growing style, at the end of the day, even if you're using organics or unorganics or whatever the case may be. I notice everybody still get the same results. A nice, beautiful, decent plant. Unless you're just a shitty ass grower. Or you got some shitty ass genetics. Are you rushing it or are you killing your plant too early? At the end of the day. Lucky I grew these strains already. So I know when to harvest them and when not to harvest them. You feel what I mean? Because I grew them already. Unlike, you know, the King Louis and the Skittles and things like that. But lucky we're going to get a little microscope to look at the trichomes at the end of the day. Um, you can't best, you cannot... <clears throat> Based on the pistols, the white pistols, you can't be like, oh, my plant is done. I know the OGs do it that way, but that's because they've been growing those certain strains for so long. They judged it based on pistols, on the pistols. We judge our cannabis based on tricone. How the tricones? Amber, um, milky, clear, you know. So, And certain strains like to be pulled at certain conditions based on tricone development. Some like all milky. Some like milky and amber, some like more amber than milk. It all depends what you're growing and the effect you're looking for. So, yeah. I feel like, shit, if you got good, decent-ass fucking genetics or you got good genetics, period, and you throw them in the ground, you got decent soil, if they're not lacking nothing or they don't need nothing, then they should turn out nice. They should turn out fire. Like I said, they didn't have all that shit back in the day. But I'm not saying that the additives don't work. Because I can't afford them. I'm not the, oh, you, you just ain't, you don't, you don't want to fuck with additives and food because you can't afford it. Hell no. Nah. If I can fuck with it, I would. I am going to fuck with it. On these motherfuckers. I'm going to buy some um, bloom shit. Maybe Fox Farm or Advanced Neutral. The bloom. Oh, yeah. And I got Turpinator. Oh, yeah. Trust and believe that. I just can't afford it because my money go into other shit. I got kids. That's all. I'm, you know, hell no. Nah. I'm humble. I'm humble, man. Straight up. I'm just trying to show you what I do and what I enjoy doing. I'm not saying that I can teach anybody anything. If you pick up something or learn something from something that I do, hey, man, I'm grateful at the end of the day. You feel me? Shit. All I'm just trying to do is just be part of the industry and have something to offer, you know? Something decent, something knowledgeable, you know? And 
I mean, shit. I'm trying at the end of the day. That's all. That's all I'm saying. I'm just trying. Just trying to catch up with catch up. You feel me? I'm loving everybody grows at the end of the day. You know? It's a lot of people I'm following, so it's a lot of people that I got to leave comments on their videos and shit like that. And then most of the time, I'm really busy. Most of the time, I'm on Instagram at the end of the day. You know? So I'm trying to really, you know, do both at the end of the day. Instagram and my YouTube page. So like I said, I will be doing a video on each individual strain in the greenhouse. And yes, we still get critters in here. Yes, we still do. Them fucking big June bugs, them, them ones, Japanese beetles be flying in here. They hit the wall and fly in and come in through the door. And I guess they lay larvae or whatever, but our little moths get in here. See, this is moths. And moths get in here and lay little things. And they, you know, but when we sprayed, they fell off and I stepped on it and killed them. They fell right off. You know, and as you can see, so, you know, we still have our little flaws here and there. That's the door. It's because I need to do my door, and they come in through that crack right there. I need to stop fucking around. Clones. See? I ain't got soil to even put them in. Check out these roots. I ain't been here in a while. Okay. 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 That's some long-ass roots, too, pimpin'. Okay. No food in that water, just straight water. And leave them in the sun. Look how good they do. Okay. Mmm. The bubble cushions. Remember, we got each one of these crumbs for $10 a pop. Look at that. They frosting out. They looking good. They looking delicious, too. Smelling delicious. And I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, I'm up in this motherfucker. I'm like, damn, what is that smelling like that? It smells like a, like, like skunkish. When I was back there by them sensei cookies, I'm like, fuck, something died back here? And then I realized, no, nigga, it's the weed. See, I'm not used to growing fire-ass shit. You know, I'm, 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 I was mastering how to grow. And I was trying to run across some nice strains. Or so-called nice strains until I ran across these strains right here by Black G420. And other nice, decent strains that I got from other um, clone stores. Haven't bought seeds offline. The only seeds I ever got from offline or from anyone was from Black G. So, you know. And um, since these are decent fire-ass fucking plants, and it's the first time they grew up in this motherfucker, and I'm just my first time growing in the ground like this. Remember, I was a pot grower. I grew in pots. Remember, I had 200-gallon pots, 200 of them, and I sold them. And then I said, fuck that. Let's grow in the ground. I call these infinity pots. So this is my first time growing in the ground like this and growing fire strain, and it kind of it throws you off. It, it throws you off because you like... My goodness, they stink. You damn right they stink. I used to tell people, now nah, you ain't gonna be able to smell it from the front yard, nothing like that. You can't smell it down the street or up the block because I wasn't growing that fire shit. And now when you grow that fire shit, you, you bound to set the block on fire. You're bound to spread radiation like Chernobyl. That's all I'm saying, man. You know what I mean? And this is just the beginning stage. Now what's gonna happen when they almost fully, when they really get dense and thick and I, oh man. Somebody going to call the police and say that they got dead bodies in the backyard. I'm telling you. I'm like, somebody back there bearing dead bodies. No way. Motherfucker's supposed to be smelling. Oh, no, that's, that, that's, that's skunk. Nigga, that's an 18 wheeler slammed on his brakes, hit a family of skunks, flipped over, and blew the fuck up. Carrying nothing but tires. Skunkish. Chernobyl. And I'm going to leave you out with that one, man. That's all. Just nice, decent strains. That's all. It's good to have nice, decent strains. I love growing my own cannabis, man. I am tired of buying cannabis from the cannabis store. It does not taste the same. It, they don't flush it. It's harsh. It tastes perfumey. Do y'all be smoking cannabis and sometimes it tastes perfumey? That's, that's that. I don't understand. Is it just me? It tastes perfumey. It does. It doesn't taste like what they say. You can go to the store. It can be a million strains in there. And whatever the name is on there, whatever name is on that strain, when you smoke it, it ain't no, that ain't what it is. They just name it shit to name shit, man. Or they tell them what it is and the, the owner will name it something completely different, dude. These taste like cookies. Because when I smoked cookies back in the day when they first came out, you could taste the cookies in it. That was real Skywalker OG I had got because I had got real Skywalker OG when I bought it from a nice store and they had a seed in there. One seed in my whole ounce. You know what I mean? So these are decent genetics. You know what I mean? St strawberry fields taste like strawberries. The Skittles taste like Skittles. Super lemon haze tastes like a lemon. You feel me? That's all I'm saying. 
That's all I'm saying. Give me something that tastes like what it sounds like and what it smells like. You know what I mean? Give me something that tastes like what the name be like. That's all I'm saying. So I'm going to leave y'all with that one, Pimpin. Do what you got to do so you can do what you want to do. Don't take time to waste time. You feel me? Don't step on yourself to get what you're trying to get at the end of the day. Meaning don't sell your soul, man, for less. You know what I'm saying? And just because you ain't got it now don't mean you ain't going to get it. And don't envy the next person because you feel like they got something that you need. Or they, you know what I'm saying, they shit is better than mine at the end of the day. They got people that the greenhouse look a hundred times better than this. They got people that only got three plants in their yard. And they happier than ever. They so happy. That's how I was when I first started growing. I grew one or two plants. Look at my big baby. Look at my big baby. Look at her. She's so beautiful. I'm in love with her. You feel me? Now I didn't surpass that and look at this. And I'm sitting here like, damn, look at these nice, big, beautiful ladies. So from one plant to three plants, to a hundred, to a thousand, to a million, it doesn't matter. They all make you feel the same. Just like it only takes one blunt to make you feel good, right? When you smoke. You ain't sitting there smoking two blunts at one time. So all it took was one plant to make you feel like, damn, I'm doing it. And to sit there and grow something and then able to consume it, oh man, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That is, that's like growing fruit and then consuming it. You know, that's like, you know, it's amazing, it is. It's a lot to it, y'all. That's all I'm saying. I love smoking my own cannabis. It tastes completely different. Even if I grow something that's boo-boo, it still tastes completely different from they boo-boo. You feel me? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I had to teach myself how to grow, man. Uh, and I've always been my own enemy by saying, nope, my weed wasn't good enough. Every time I grew it every year, nope, it's not good enough. Nope, I should have done this. Nope, nope, nope. Everybody tell me it's good. It's nice. Nah, it ain't. Now. I can smoke my weed and say, yes, it is nice. I have smoked this in the past. The Sensei Cookies, the Ken's Ninja, the Skywalker's Blue Dragon. And it is decent, and it is nice, and it is amazing, you know? And now this time around, I'm growing it in better conditions. You feel me? And the plants are bigger. So, yeah, man. That's it. That's all. I don't want to bore you, you know? I don't know what style I grow. I don't know if it's no-tail, hotel, motel, shit, a dog with no tail, shit. All I know is that I get in that soil and I get to tilling before I plant them plants, baby. You feel me? And I'm um, shit, I just leave it up to the, you know, I mean, like, hey, it ain't, listen, if you're watching somebody, the plant, it ain't just you throwing that, that seed in the ground, that plant turned out that way. You feel me? Like I say, good genetics, good soil, and a decent grower at the end of the day. This shit ain't easy, man. Most folks, they had their hands out when you done with all this. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give and don't know what, what it took to do all this. Don't know the effort it took. And then don't want to give you no money, knowing you got a family. Don't want to give you nothing. Suspect it from you because you really, really related to them. You my family. You ought to give me this every month, every four months. Just gimme, 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 gimme. I got kids. God Damn, you can't go to the weed store and say, gimme, give gimme. Give you can't go to the Nike store and say, gimme a free pair of shoes every fucking week. All I'm saying is, damn, why you can't look at me as you look at these professional businesses? Because I don't have a business that you can pull up to and walk in and sign up to come in. So you don't respect me the same way? Or you don't look at me the same way? But you will smoke my weed the same way? I don't get that, right? Ain't that how it is, most folks? Ain't that how it is? <laughs> you ain't got no business, so I don't look at you like that. Shit. And you just regular backyard grower. Where you think all the weed come from? Come from motherfuckers that's growing in some field. In the back of some field. In the back of a building, the back of a house, the back of a yard. The back of a trailer. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know I'm going to get some thumbs down for this one. But, hey. At least I know my haters are watching. And I don't call y'all haters. I call y'all motivators at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Shit, everybody ain't got to like what the fuck you do. So they're not haters. They just have their opinion, just like you got yours. You feel me? It's a million motherfuckers you look at a day and say, I don't like what he's doing, or I would have done it different. Or, I, you know, he should have did it this way or that way, or I would have done it this way or that. Different conditions, different grower, different mind. You know what I mean? But you think different from him, so you can't say that. You know what I mean? It's, that's his environment. That's the way he thinks. He may looking at he looking at it totally different from how you looking at it. You may look at this plant and say, oh, this plant is cool. You know what I mean? It don't need to be defoliated. And then somebody else may come in here and say, oh, no, it needs to be defoliated. I think you can open it up a little bit more. 
you know so everybody look at things different and, and approach things different and attack things different that's all i'm saying you know so all you can do is just give an opinion you know and if you got somebody hating on you i don't even last time i had somebody hate on me i ain't even questioned it. as soon as i seen it i just congratulate them thank you you are right whatever you said about me is right have a nice day that's it shut it down i'm not gonna make a video about this nigga saying this about me and this person saying this about me because everybody like drama even me we all like drama so i don't want to be part of the, that drama you hating on me i'm gonna leave your video there i mean i'm gonna leave your comment there and i'm gonna answer real nice and every time people watch that video they're gonna see how much of a you know what I'm saying? Negative person you are and how I was so positive, I still didn't let that negativity bring me down. I left a nice comment under your negative comment. That's how you get them. That's how you attack them. You know, you got other things to worry about, man. You an entrepreneur. You a family man, you know? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You a superhero, you know? Shit, you a king, you know? Shit, Navy motherfucking SEAL, black ops, you feel me? SEAL Team 7 in this motherfucker, you know? You ain't got time to be wasting time. You feel me with the time wasters? You know what I mean? Shit, fuck that at the end of the day. So, I'm going to leave you with that one. Like I said, big, big shout out to all those uplifting and motivating positive channels. I'm trying to grow my channel. I'm trying to get into all this social media shit. And it's good for business. It is. It's not drama. It's only drama when you're on there and you got a family you're on there trying to cheat. It's only drama when you're on there and you're running your fucking mouth about people you don't know shit about. It's only drama when you're on there trying to be fucking sneaky and claim some shit that ain't true or try to make yourself out to be something you're not. That's when you run across the drama. But when you're on there using it for a business platform to promote yourself, to show your family, to show the things that you like to do, then ain't nothing wrong, pimpin'. Everything is gravy. I haven't had no problems with social media. I have a family. I'm not on there trying to cheat. And, oh, you got a girl and I see you with your girl and you trying to talk to me on the side. No, 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 no. Oh, Lado, you don't grow no fucking weed. All them pictures you taking is just from other people and you posting them on your page. And you only be around one or two. No, 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 no. You know, and I don't care if nobody believe nothing I say or nothing I do. But what I'm saying is, it's how you use something and how you approach something. You feel me? At the end of the day, that makes it bad or good or whatever the case may be. If you're a family man, you got nothing to worry about. You promoting your business, and it's another platform to promote your business. Free advertising. Another platform to show other family members in other states and other countries what are you doing. And you know, because I got family in Belize and all these places, they can't come out here. So this is how we. I can show them my kids. This is how I can show them what I like to do. And I show food and things like that. And they're able to call me on Facebook free without, you know. Remember back in the day, people had to go buy them cars to call in Mexico and all these places? You ain't got to do that no more. You know, that's what the social media is for. That's why I like it. And send my family members in Texas pictures. They can see me, follow me, talk to me. Man, you know how many family members I found once I joined Facebook? Hundreds that I haven't seen since I was a kid that I would never have seen if I didn't join Facebook. You know? Shit. I mean, it's good, you know? Like I said, it all depends on what you do with it and how you use it and how you apply it. It's like a gun. How you gonna use it? You gonna go out there and hunt, bring something back to the village so everybody can prosper? You gonna go out there and kill somebody and so everybody can suffer? You feel me? And feel misery. What you gonna go out there and do? Taint? You gonna go out there and affect? Or are you gonna go out there and plant seeds and grow to produce? You gonna take away or are you gonna produce? You know what I mean? I just try to be a positive person. That's all at the end of the day. You either like me or you don't. You feel me? You either like it or you don't. You feel me? You either love it or you hate it. Either yeah or no. Either heaven or hell. Shit. I'm going to leave y'all with that one, man. Let me get these plants some water. Yes, water. That way I ain't got to see them for another... 3Ds. And once again, that's the reason why I made these like this. So I can just put the water hose there and let it fill up and put it in the next one, pimping. So, yeah. Why don't I put the fans in here? Because I don't want to deal with plugging it all up. And I have timers and shit, but I don't, you know, somebody may unplug it on an accident. And no, 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 no. So what I try to do is work with my environment. I try to work with what I got. As you can see, it's blowing. Oh, and I feel that breeze when it comes in this way. So we need to just clear all that over there. That's all. Open loop greenhouse. I got to use Mother Nature to cool off my greenhouse. I'm budget balling. I'm budget balling. Remember. I'm budget balling. If I was on my budget balling. Budget balling. So I'm going to put some more vents. Pow, pow. 
but I'm not cutting into this plastic because this is the real greenhouse plastic that's UV protected, lasts for over eight, nine years, all this. Real greenhouse plastic, all this. I'm not cutting into this. That's that Home Depot plastic that only lasts five to six months, and then I doubled it from there to there. That's it. And I can take that off and put a whole nother piece or finally buy another piece of greenhouse that can go there. Everything else is real greenhouse except for that, as you can see. And I doubled it. Cut a hole in there. Cut some more holes for air vents. Clean all that shit up around there and stop playing around. Let me feed the ladies. I'm going to leave y'all with that one. Um, You know, sometimes I try to, like, you know, take a lot of time before I show them to y'all so y'all can see a difference. But I feel like you can see a difference now. You know, I feel like you can see a difference. Grow, grow, grow. Don't, she ain't showing no signs of flowering. I like that. All right, let me start feeding the ladies, the babies. Get back there and feed the sensei cookies. I know most folks like Lalo, clean up all that down there. But I want to show you something. See, these are bigger. Yes. If I go down here, yes, these are smaller. But they're not too much small. And light is getting in there. You know, the light is getting in here, man. So what I will do is go in here and pull off all this little stuff like that. The light is getting in there. Same thing there. You can see through there. The light is getting in, man. So, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. You know? And I'm just going to leave it. Now, most of the time, I would have pulled all that, like I usually do when I grow. But this time around, I'm leaving it. Sensei cookies, from top to bottom. All the colors are the same. Well, you know, the ones at the top are a little bit thicker, but the ones at the bottom is getting light, and they just as thick. They're not behind. They're not, no, no, if they are behind, let's say they only like five days behind the top ones, if anything. Thickness is still the same. They will densen out. Look at this. This plant is so open. Look at that. You can tell there's going to be big colas. Look at that. Don't you see them, y'all? Don't you see the big colas that's going to be there? Don't you see it? Don't you see them? They're going to be leaning. Don't you see all those colas right there? It's going to be leaning. I'll call this off. These are two pound plants off the top. I'm just going to give it to them. You don't understand how thick the plant is. She goes weird back there, man. Try how thick she is, man. The thick is this right here, boy. Look at that. Look at that, boy. Way back here, man. See that? It's beautiful, man. All right. Well, there you go, Pimpy. I'm here to tell you. If you're looking for some good strains, some good genetics, Black Diamond Genetics is the place to go. Created by yours truly, the breeder, Black G420. Grown by Lalo. 333. The original 333, but have to switch it up on you and hit you with the 334. So, created by Black Diamond Genetics, bred by Black G420, grown by Lay low, 333. And I'm going to leave you with that one. Coming at you from the concrete jungles, baby. The city of angels. The city of palm trees and chronic leaves. South Central.